what is an article and how are we supposed to attempt it but before that let us understand how is this going to help us in our life we are going to be chartered accountants we are not going to write articles now let's say that after you clear your ca or maybe you know you are applying for articleship and you have submitted your resume in the resume you are expected to write about your achievements about your extracurricular activities so you can't simply say no i was busy studying so i was i did not participate in any other activity what if you want to do mba later on so writing articles for your college magazine for uh, maybe uh, uh, some other magazine uh, like icai journal all this is going to add to your resume it is going to add a lot of value to your resume see developing writing skills will always help you in life like i used to write a lot when uh, i was in school i was in college i used to participate in elocution competition all that is helping me now the books that i that uh, that you have they are all designed by me the content is also made so because of these writing skills okay even though i may not do the entire work but if you get the work done from the other person you must be in a position to assess to check whether what he has done is correct or not if if somebody is giving you a write up you should know what the correct grammar is only then you can approve no so when these posts which you see on my social media they are given to me for assessment ma'am is this okay can we post it there are so many changes which i am asked them to make why because sometimes the spelling is wrong sometimes the grammar is not correct then they tell me okay ma'am you tell what is to be written so framing of that sentence all that is possible only because we have developed writing skills over uh, these many years so as a student i think it is an important topic and you should also write articles if given an opportunity for your school or college magazine or uh, maybe your icai journal all this will add a lot of value in your resume so what is an article it is an expression of one's thoughts on an issue on any subject which is logically arranged and coherently written in a meaning in meaningful paragraphs so it is an expression of your thoughts what is what do you feel or it is something on an on an issue or maybe some event you are just writing uh, about the event it is written logically coherently means there is a logical flow between the paragraphs between sentences it should not be that you are jumping from one concept to the other that will not make your article interesting it's a piece of writing mainly intended to be published in a newspaper magazine journal something which has wide circulation so articles are basically written to be circulated in a to a wider audience it will be read by many at a time language should be formal but not very formal also you should be you should make the article interesting for the other person so some real life event some quotes can be written uh, something which can be uh, made relatable to the target audience everything depends on the target audience sometimes we need to write an informal article articles may include stories anecdotes facts anything which makes your article interesting for the reader it should not be that he reads the first paragraph and says oh i am not able to understand anything and closes the book or closes the magazine article if it is to be read by a group of professionals you can use technical words if it is to be read by the general public then language should, should be simple uh, it should be it should not contain any jargon or technical word so these are things which you should keep in mind while writing an article ma'am is all this going to come in the exam is theory going to be asked no this is just for our knowledge now these are points to remember that when you write an article give a title that catches the attention of the reader in 99% of the cases icai will give you the title which they want you to write okay they will specify write an article on this topic but what if the topic is not mentioned okay general general description is given then you need to write the article so it should be catchy it should be attractive and you see when you read the newspaper also you will first read the headlines and then decide whether to read the article or not so if the headline is catchy only then you will read it no the second thing you should remember is begin with a striking and interesting opening sentence like you can start your article with a saying in the words of you know then you can write if you don't know the name then it is it is a well known fact or it is generally said that then you can quote something uh like i remember my student he had written i i must have mentioned that earlier also my student i had given them a topic in class 
write about the brave Indian army. And he said, in the words of Vikram Batra, he's, uh, or Vikram Batra said that I will be, I will come holding the flag or wrapped in it, but I will not lose and come. Something which grabs the attention, the, the reader should want to continue reading, no? Present a strong argument for our idea, supporting it with evidence or collaboration. So try to give some facts if possible. Then we have use linking devices like therefore, thus, although, even though, in order to. So these uh, words or phrases, they actually help you to maintain the flow of thought and the composition appears as a whole. So you can use those words. Uh, introduce a new point at the beginning of each paragraph. So whenever you want to introduce some new point, like first you highlighted the problems, then now you want to come to the solution. So change the paragraph. Always try to start a new paragraph with a new idea. Introduce a new idea, develop your ideas as much as you can and make them interesting and substantial and conclude your answer with your strongest point. So in the conclusion, you can write whether uh, you are happy with the way the current situation is going or what are your suggestions, uh, what are the improvements that one can bring. You can end the answer with like, uh, we would I would like to conclude by saying that and write one very strong message and then end your article. Use passive voice. Passive voice means you have to write the article in the past tense. Okay. It is something which has already happened. Use humor because that makes the article interesting. Emotive language. Use fancy words or you know, uh, you can use uh, phrases, idioms. Rhetorical questions. So uh, you can always write that. Uh, do you think that man is happy in today's world? Do you think that money can buy happiness? So these are rhetorical questions. You can start your, uh, your article with that. Do you think that every person is, uh, that every rich person is also happy? Something like this just to start your article to make it more interesting. So students, these are few points which you need to remember before you start your article.